the Lord. I greet you with immense joy in my heart and I hope you are doing well and blessed by the grace of God. I am very glad and humbled to be here sharing the message that the Lord put in my heart. I am Elizabeth Priscilla. I was born in a Christian family and so I grew up celebrating Christmas every year and so it is with many of us. It doesn't matter how many years we've celebrated Christmas but my question to each one of us is that has the impact in us about Christmas taken a diversion from the story of Christ to just feasting and Santa Claus jingles? Despite how many years we've celebrated Christmas the impact of the story of Christ's birth remains astounding and makes sense to us when we personally recollect the purpose of this particular event in the history. Let's take this time to recall the event when a man with all glory and great power left it all behind just for you and me. Today I'll be speaking to you from the Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verses 13 and 14. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 7 records the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was born and been laid in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, the message of the good news of the Savior's birth is first spoken to the shepherds who were keeping watch over their flocks during the night. And the one who brought this good news to them was an angel. And after the angel had done giving the message is exactly when we read verses 13 and 14. It says, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Verse 14 conveys to us a heavenly praise with the expression of joy and blessing by a multitude of heavenly hosts. Oh, what a sight will that be, isn't it? And why were they in so much joy about Jesus' birth? The message of the angel is seen in verses 10 to 12. And in verse 11, it says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. The good news is not just that a baby is born, but it is that a Savior is born. A Savior. And what does a Savior mean? A Savior is a person who rescues another from danger. And by the way, who is in danger and what are they in danger of? We all know that Christ was born for us, the mankind, and we are in danger of sin. And the Word of God says that the wages of sin is death. We are so prone to sinning, we keep giving way to the evils and we keep missing the mark. But we are imperfect beings loved by the perfect God. And He knows that we need redemption and salvation. And what if God continues to say that, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus was born that we may have life in Him. Not life in flesh or not life in worldly desires, but life in Christ. In verse 14, the multitude of heavenly hosts is praising God with the expression of joy and blessing for this very reason because they knew the purpose of Jesus' birth. And they knew that He is the promised Messiah that the Jews were waiting for. Now the joy is not only among the angels and the good news is not just for the shepherds. We see that in verse 10 it says good news of great joy that will be for all people. For it is for our redemption that Christ was born. The redemption of the world is for God's glory in the highest. His goodwill in sending the Messiah brought peace into this lower world and he alone deserves the highest praise for his love in redeeming his people. The blessing in verse 14 is that on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. The Savior was predicted as the Prince of Peace in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Now the world is at war with God. The sinners are in enmity against God and against each other. But Jesus came to make peace and he did so by reconciling the world to God and bringing us to the state of peace with God and we by submitting our souls to God we have the peace the peace that surpasses all understanding to have peace in the midst of strife
struggles. Now that is a peace that is beyond all understanding and that is the peace that only Christ can give us because He is the Prince of Peace. Among our everyday issues and stress today, the word peace doesn't seem to make any sense. We are too busy to pray, too busy to read the word of God, too busy to spend time with our loved ones, too busy that we have even forgotten who we are, that we don't even know who we are anymore. And I can for sure say that most of us feel that we are all by ourselves, feeling helpless and alone. But let me tell you, for Jesus to be born in this earth and can bring peace to this lower world, Christ's birth in you, in your heart, will bring you to the immense joy and peace. The Savior who was born is born in you and He is Emmanuel which means God with us. We are not alone. You are not alone. The Lord is in you. He is just by your side. Just trust the Lord for He knows that you are in need of a Savior and He is in control. He will make a way. He always has. Let every heart prepare him room and receive in the Savior. The heaven rejoices at the receiving of the Savior into your heart. And as Christ the Savior is born in you, in us, we praise God saying glory to God in the highest and peace be in you, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Now let's thank God and praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for His tender mercy that He has shown towards us. For He who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used in His own advantage, rather made Himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness. And let let us praise Him for His sacrificial love. For greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. God came down to us, seeking us. No words can express the greatness of that love. All these are beyond our full comprehension and yet how little does man feel it? And how many of us turn away from that highest love of God and treat that expression of love with contempt. You are loved. Surely if God so loved us first, we ought to also love Him and others. May this season bring you joy, understanding and comfort in the name of Jesus as His peace resides in you and as your love extends towards others. Let's pray. Our precious Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this very time that you have blessed us with. And Lord, we thank you for the word that you have planted in our hearts. And Lord, we open our hearts for you to be born in us, that we may have life in you. Lord, we bring you all praise, glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.